All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, guys. Reporting live from the Fragrance Dungeon, as you guys can see, for a brand new episode. This time it's going to be a new unboxing and first impressions of this fragrance right here. This is Rave Now EDP. It is from the company Rave, which is also like a sub company under the wing of Latafa Fragrances. So, yes, once again, Latafa uh, surprises us and bring something special to the table and there was yes i'm a little bit late for this review but uh yes it is what it is here i am i actually tried this fragrance like a year ago or maybe uh, less than a year ago and i really liked it but uh, at the same time i liked i tried it with other fragrances so trying other fragrances kind of influenced my um, my uh, yes my test for this fragrance but this time i'm gonna give it a solid try and only for this fragrance i'm gonna try it now like first impressions then uh, uh, try it again for a few days wear it for a few days and see how it is how it develops and etc etc so without further ado let's unbox this uh this box of perfume and let me give you like a detailed uh, tour presentation of the box, of the bottle, etc. So let's take off the cellophane wrap already. All right, thank God. So as you guys can see, this is the box of the of the perfume. Uh, it says right here now Rave, the name of the company. Now Eau de Parfum. It's it has kind of um, a feel like some sort of tissue. So it's not like um, the usual boxes from other. Uh, like from other fragrances, especially from Latafa. And uh, on the back, we have the authentication stamp right here, the Latafa logo, as you guys can see, the name of the fragrance, some ingredients, etc. It says 100 ml right here as well, just like on, no, it's only in the back. All right. So on the top, we have the name of the company, Rave. And uh, down below, we have the barcode, we have made in uae expiration date and production date and also the batch code right here so let's get the bottle and let's see how it looks like and uh, let's try it out let's see how it is oh nice very stylish kind of modern well it's pretty modern type of bottle kind of remind me of dolce gabbana the one edp intense you know the black one but this one has a plasticky feel, which I really don't like on the bottle, but it's, it still looks really nice. We have the name of the fragrance right here, now Eau de Parfum. On the bottom we have the sticker, the, it says Eau de Parfum, La Tafa, Rave, etc. And on the top we have the name of the company Rave right here, as you guys can see. The, the cap is very nice, I like it. It clicks into place as expected, as I expected it, to my surprise for once. So yes, on the back or on the front, we have the name Rave and on here we have the name Now. All right, so let's try it out and let's see how it is. It looks like it's kind of leaked, I don't know, or is it just the paint? I think maybe it's just the paint, I'm not sure though. Anyways, let's try it. Let me try it live on video. Oh, the sprayer is, is wide, but it's not really that strong. If I can say that, I think I over kind of over sprayed it. So let's let's sniff it out. I smell it now. This is yeah. This is how some people really uh, described it as a pineapple, like a sweet pineapple, like a sweet juicy pineapple bomb. Fruity, very fruity. And uh, to be honest with you, a lot of people have said that the opinion of this one smells a lot like the opinion of Black XS naturally. From this opinion, they are kind of different. I think maybe maybe the people that said that, maybe the people that said that the opinion of this one resembles this one, maybe they meant that it look it resembles black x as the newer batches not the older batches like this one because this is an old batch but uh yeah it smells really nice fruity it has a tropical vibe and it's uh yeah it's woody as well 
Wooding a little bit fresh, I can say that. Let me spray a little bit on the on the other on the clothes right here on my clothes. Let's see how it is. The sprayer, as you can see, is not really my cup of tea. Look how it sprays like. But it's okay, I guess. I'll just have to clean it up from time to time. Maybe it's just my bottle. And uh, let me sniff my uh, my clothes. Oh, on my clothes, it's it's kind of different. On my clothes, I smell some sort of apple. Yeah, and some sort of grapes as well. It has this grape scent, like um, candy grapes, popsicle, if I can say that. It smells kind of like candy. But on my hand, it's different. I mean, I sprayed it here and I sprayed it on my clothes and there is a little bit of difference, but there is a huge resemblance, of course. But when it comes to resemblance with the Arvin of Black XS, mm, not really. Just skip that. Whoever said that, mm, no, no way. Because Black XS, the older batches, is one of my very favorite fragrances and I know it very much. And I have it right here. And I will try to do like a video comparison between the two. And even if there is like newer batches, the new batches of Black XS, you know, with a different bottle, the smaller bottle, maybe I will try to do a comparison between the two. But so far, I'm surprised. I'm surprised with this one because it is pretty smooth. It's not chemically, it's, it doesn't smell really chemically, uh, how do you say it, overwhelming or glowing. Kind of like this one right here. This is uh, also from Latafa. And it is a, a kind of chemically, if I can say that, a very synthetic fragrance. It is very nice. Well, it's nice, not very nice. This is nice but much nicer than this one. This one is a little bit synthetic. This one is not really that synthetic as this one. Not as chemical as this one. This one is a little bit chemical. And yeah, it gets really fruity and fruitier and much more tropical. This is, uh, it reminds me of some sort of dessert. Yeah, it has this sweetness accompanied with the fruitiness. It's like very juicy pineapple, juicy apple, like some sort of juicy, frozen type of apple if i can say that with some sort of candelicious if i can say that candelicious popsicle i mean grapes popsicle type of candy and yes the sweetness is there but the woodiness is also showing up it has been showing up since the beginning though but now it's starting to me to be more present it smells nice it feels like it might be a really long lasting fragrance hopefully and um, yeah for now i think i i like it i'm pretty happy with this purchase especially that this is a very very cheap very affordable i think i i was lucky to get it for a very cheap price i'm not gonna say the price that i bought it for but i'm gonna say that you might find this fragrance um between i would say between like 17 18 dollars to like 25 dollars depends on the seller so it's up to you to find the price that suits you better. And uh, yes, I think uh, for this unboxing and first impression, this is it. And I will try to come back later with a full review and tell you about the performance, how it performed during the day, how it performed during the night, and uh, how it is overall, and maybe give it, give it a rating as well. And try to, I will try to, to see like if I can do like a comparison between, between this one and this one and also between this one and this one right here. And also if I can find a newer batch of Black XS, even though right now I don't really feel, I don't see the strong resemblance between the two. There is some sort of similarities, but they are kinda, they are kinda different. This is much sweeter, this is much juicier than this one. So yes, I guess this is it for our video. Please give us a thumbs up for the video and stay tuned for the next videos. Take care, bye.